April 24, 2024. This is Christian College Professor Solange Martinez documenting, <coughs> the, excuse me, this a Christian persecution here in the United States, racketeering, um, RICO violations, and uh, other organized crime, uh, crimes committed against elderly disabled Christians. Uh, and anybody who also refuses to join the organized crime uh, or deny Christ, uh, or refuses to deny Christ. Estoy llamando para eh, arreglar un, un asunto. Hi, thank you for calling Xfinity. This call may be monitored or recorded. For more information about our privacy practices, visit us at Xfinity.com slash privacy. Our Xfinity assistant can answer most common questions and will connect you to a live voice or chat agent if you still need help. Can I text you now? No. There is usually a wait time for a live agent. So let's see if our virtual assistant can help you right away. Not to worry. We can connect you with a live agent anytime. But first, can I text you a link to chat with our virtual assistant? No. Looks like your modem is offline. Restarting fixes most common problems and won't take long. Check the device has power and the cables and connections are secure. Unplug the power for 10 seconds and plug back in. You'll get a text in about 10 minutes at the mobile number ending in 8362. If you need more help, you'll be able to schedule an appointment or connect with an agent. Can I text you in 10 minutes? No. Okay. Since your modem is offline, an agent will ask you to restart your device before they can help you further. If you can, check your cables and connections to make sure they're secure. Then unplug your device for 10 seconds before plugging it back in. You'll get a text at the mobile number ending in 8362. If you need more help, you'll be able to schedule an appointment or connect with an agent. Can I text you in about 10 minutes? No. In a few words, what's the issue you're calling about? Representative. Okay, I can help get you to an agent. What are you calling about? Representative. Again, in a few... Your account has a credit of $20.80. No payment is due at this time. Would you still like to make a payment now? No. Would you like to set up automatic monthly payments? No. If you need help with anything else, say main menu. If you're finished, hang up when you're ready. Thank you for... Before we can continue, I'll need to authenticate your account. Say or enter the last four digits of your social security number. Thanks, that matched our records. Thank you for calling the Comcast Payment Department. We appreciate your business and look forward to speaking with you. Please be aware that this call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. We're calling the payment department for Comcast. My name is Emmanuel. Please be advised this call may be monitor or recorder. For more information about the privacy practices, visit us at xfinity.com slash privacy. Hope you have a pleasure to us today. 
Hi, uh, good evening. This is uh, Solange Martinez. Uh, and I... How is your day going so far? Go ahead. Good. Um, I called because I want to disconnect my services with uh, Comcast Xfinity. Okay, I'm sorry. We broke up a little bit. Uh, what was your concern, ma'am? Yes, uh, Emmanuel. I called because I would like to disconnect my services with Comcast Xfinity. Okay, let me get you connected with our uh, cancellation department so they can assist you out with this, all right? Thank you. Yes, hold, you're welcome. Okay, since they hung up on me, uh, let me call this number for headquarters. As of December 22nd, 2021, Ashley Ralston is no longer with the Executive Customer Relations Team. If you have a general question or concern, please call 1-800-934-6489. If you have an open corporate case, please call 1-800-597-6022 and provide your case number for assistance. Thank you. To disconnect, press 1. To leave a message for someone else, press 2. To leave a message anyway, press 3 or stay on the line. Record your message after the tone. When you've finished, you can hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, this is Professor Solange Martinez. Please give me a call at your earliest convenience at 914-619-8362. Thank you. main menu again you can say technical support billing and payments by moving to a new address add services or products remove services or products appointments or change services or products remove services and products now you can say by moving to a new address downgrade or disconnect Disconnect. Please wait for the next available representative. Hi, it's an awesome day here in Xfinity Home of Xfinity Mobile. My name is Haley. Can I have your first and last name, please? Solange Martinez, Haley. Haley, how do you Hello, Solange. How do you spell your name, Haley? Yes, H-A-Y-L-E-Y. -E oh, H-A-Y-L-A-Y, Haley. Thank you so much. H-A-Y-L-E-Y, -E yes. H as, in, I, uh, H as in Harry, A as in Apple, Y as in yours, L-A-Y. L-E. E as in echo. Oh, okay. L-E-Y. Haley. Thank you, uh, Miss Haley. I called because I need to Very disconnect much. my services. Uh, I you know why you wanted to disconnect your service, Mr. Lange. Because I was home invaded. I lived, uh, I take care of my elderly disabled 72 years old mother. Uh, Christian mother. And Christian haters went into her apartment, um, on the 18th of March 2024 and home invaded her apartment and kicked us out and stole everything uh, within the apartment except uh, the old things that they didn't want which they stabbed three on the floor and smashed uh, so uh, I don't have the modem with me anymore uh, and I need to disconnect my services because I am no longer there Somebody else is living there by the name of a person by the name of Samuel is living there who has a relationship with the building uh, service coordinator. And um, he's living there with my mother's uh, Section 8 and um, documents. Uh, so he's um, staying there. I'm no longer staying there. I see. Well, I can definitely process the cancellation of your account, Mr. Lange, but um are you not going to be transferring to a different address 
Do you already have a different provider, Daryl? No, because they left us homeless. Um, they kicked us out on the street, and they refused to give give us our um, a COVID mask or our coats. And uh, they also um, refused to give us our car keys, so couldn't we couldn't get into our car and freeze to death. It was a miracle that we survived. So we have been homeless since um, March 18th, 2024, for a month now. I see. I'm so sorry to hear that, Mr. Lange. So I'm so sorry to ask you this, but how is your family so far now? Are you all guys okay? Mm. We are not okay because Samuel is living at my mother's apartment and he's getting her, her section eight her uh, medicare and her home home care medicaid and all the yeah. um the benefits government benefits that she worked for dozens of years of her life while paying her taxes and paying paying into her government benefits now he has them Well, that's actually concerning. Um, he's your mother's partner right now, right? No, I have been taking care of my elderly disabled Christian mother for the last 23 years or so. And she has epilepsy and a severely injured back. And while they were um, home invading our apartment and kicking her out and kicking me out, they were laughing about um, the fact that uh, she was freezing to death in the cold outside. The Waterbury Police Department and the marshals, U.S. marshals, that are next to the building, that are located next to the building. At 44 Center Street, Waterbury, Connecticut, all 6702. Yes, and if you're actually staying in this um, address right here, Solange, you have the right to had access to your account and, you know, continue your service with us since you are the one who will um, be getting this credit from the um, government. Why are you allowing him to take advantage of this program then? Because he belongs to a mafia, the deep state mafia. And he told her, he told my mother, uh, through his friend or partner, uh, I don't know how to call it, uh, the building um, service coordinator, that he wanted her to move out because she wanted he wanted her apartment. And if she didn't move out, they were going to move her out illegally. Uh, so they did that. They home invaded her apartment and threatened her and myself with arbitrary arrest and extrajudicial executions if, if we came back to the apartment. So sorry to hear that, Solange, and it's actually like for me to disconnect your service right now. And this should never happen. Um, did you already report this to the police? Well, I didn't report it to the police because the police chief is a Christian hater, and he home invaded my mother's apartment on November twenty fourth, twenty twenty one. And he um, arbitrarily arrested us and almost extrajudicially executed us. Uh, and after that, he also sent uh, another home, home invaders uh, group um, on the 15th of February, 2023, and tried to also uh, extrajudicially execute us by arbitrarily arresting us. When we asked what the charge was, he said none. Well, this should be reported to the police right here, um, Solange. This is really concerning. Yes, I wanted to report it to the police, but when I uh, called the police, uh, the internal affairs, they told me that uh, to report uh, the chief of police for arbitrary, arbitrarily arresting um, peaceful Pacific civilians, Christian civilians, uh, we had to report it uh, to him. Uh, that, <coughs> that he was the uh, internal affairs uh, chief. So to report him to internal affairs, we had to report uh, what he did to him, not uh, another separate internal affairs. And this is the type of situation that 
uh, he created uh, after the first home invasion. This is what um, he used to do, call us at two o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock at night, seven o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, uh, seven o'clock at night, and tell us this. When we, hold on. Uh, when we, bless you, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, when we also. picked up the phone. Oh, hello. Bless you, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, when we, we picked up the phone, uh, he used to tell us this. Bless you, uh, I'm Of the, uh. Bless you. This is the chief of police of Waterbury. And when you talk to him, he's a, a beast, a beast like he doesn't uh, reason or listen. This is what he says. Bless you. I'm sorry. And uh, it is very difficult to try to speak to a Christian hater after he home invaded your apartment and you are trying to calm him down. Bless you, I'm so, so it's it's very unreasonable to speak to the chief of police when he's a Christian hater and you're a Christian and he calls you on your phone uh, and tells you he's he's going to kill you that you're a female dog and you're as good as dead. You hear? This is him. That's a threat, Mr. Lunch. A death threat, but you can you actually can record his um, voice and then report it to the police. You have the right. Yes, uh, I, I did that. I'll kill you. Fuck you. And then they threatened me with more false arrest and an extrajudicial execution without taking me to court. I'm really sorry about this, but... This is really concerning. He's actually yeah, that's threatening you, you guys. And my mother um, could be his mother. He um, sent he, uh, his caps to apply a wrestling key on her. She's 72 years old with two cancer operation, epilep operations, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, osteoporosis, and two leaking heart valves and three stomach ulcers. And he and his men applied a wrestling key to her that cut off the passage of air to her brain and made her pass out. And she walks with a scooter because she also has a severely injured spinal cord. I see, so that means that his case was dismissed? He never went to, call, uh, to court because he belongs to the deep state mafia here in the United States. They don't allow you to, your cases, if you file a lawsuit, they don't allow you, the, your lawsuit to go forward. I see. Well, this is actually the first time that I receive a call um, like this, Mr. Lange, and hearing this, actually, I'm, I really feel sorry about this, Mr. Lange, but I am just hoping and praying for your well-being. And did you mention, did you say that he... He murdered your mother? No, um, <clears throat> I didn't see he murdered my mother, but he has been trying to murder her because she refused to deny Christ and refused to join the organized crime and rip off the United States government by signing documents that were falsified and, tele and, um, and being enrolled in programs for which she did not qualify. <clears throat> so what he actually wanted to get is your mother's program, right? No, this is what happens. The landlords, there are four landlords um, in the building where she used to live at 44 Center Street, Waterbury, Connecticut. And mm. um, when she was living there, she was proposed uh, several things that go against her religion. She is a Christian. She was told to sign papers saying that she belonged to a robbing program 
uh, for welfare, the, the, uh, the Department of Social Services, um, run by the, the, the commissioner of the Department of Social Services, whom she took to court for stealing her benefits and won the court case when I represented her in 2019. After that, he sent his uh, gang members to ask her uh, if she intended to enforce the court order that orders uh, him, the DSS commissioner, the Department of Social Services commissioner, to pay her back almost a million dollars worth of stolen government benefits, including her food stamps, about $350 oh and other government benefits. When my mother told his gang members that she intended to enforce that court order, uh, he sent um, his, um, who, who is said to be called the Deep State Mafia hitman, which is uh, the gentleman that you just heard on a recorded line, telling me that he was going to kill me, that I was a female dog, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and he tried to uh, 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 execute a hit on my mother and a hit on me uh, because that way the Department of Social Services Commissioner doesn't have to um, pay back what he stole from my mother and from myself because then we found out that he was diverting the uh, payments for me through uh, AFL, Adult Family Living, which is a government program that pays children of elderly disabled citizens, like my mother, to take care of them, to avoid strangers going into their homes and abusing them, you know, assaulting them and um, doing things to them. So then I found out that the $2,000 that he was supposed to be uh, depositing from the um, Federal Reserve Bank, which is the bank that is used to pay the civilians uh, by the government employees. He was diverting the payments uh, at TD Bank that were supposed to go into my account every two weeks, which are about two four, uh, about $4,000 into his accounts. So when I tried to take him to court, he and his deep state mafia blocked me from taking him to court uh, and I asked for a fair hearing seven times and he blocked yeah. it. And uh, that way he got more angry because he knows that he has to pay me back another uh, million dollars or so because he has been diverting my payments uh, every two weeks through the AFL, Adult Family Living Program, for the last three and a half years. So it's cheaper for him to pay Fernando Spagnolo, the chief of police who belongs to the organized crime and he's said to be the uh, deep state mafia hitman than to pay my mother uh, what he stole through the court order and to pay me what he has been stealing because that's fraud. And fraud does not have an yeah. expiration date in the United States. Mm -hmm. All right. And that person is really dangerous, Ms. Solange. Excuse me? Um, I know this this case is really difficult to deal with, especially that person is under your mafia. But I just hope and praying for your well-being, for your safety and your family too. So I hope your case, um, you know, will win over, you know, over him and his gang, you know, gang members. Well, These people don't belong here and they shouldn't be treating people like this. This is com completely unfair and injustice. It's really sad that the police of the United States government are dares to behave this against elderly disabled people and against their college professors' uh, children because they refuse to join the mafia. If they want to join the mafia and commit crimes uh, and violate the Ten Commandments of God, let them go ahead. But we don't; they don't have any right to force Christians to join the mafia so they can go to hell 
when they die as they will go to hell because they are violating the Ten Commandments of God. Right. And I'm also, I know that this person is actually a hater of Christianity, but I am also hoping for his, you know, well-being. Although, you know, this person is not, you know, something that we follow. But, of course, in the Bible, I know you know this, Ms. Solange, we, we have to love our enemy. Even if it's, you know, difficult for us to do. But just go ahead and do the process. Um, you know, um, with the right process, Ms. Solange, I know you can get your justice. These people are not easy to deal with because the fact that they're under mafia and these people are really dangerous. If you can actually get out yourself from this, um, people, please keep yourself, um, um, you know, safe and protected. Do anything, whatever you could, to protect yourself and your family with these people. Yes, we pray for him every day. Because he's also a child of God. Really? But um, I know. Uh, we want him to convert. But if he doesn't open his heart to our Lord Jesus Christ, the, mm -hmm. the Lord is not going to force his way into his heart. And when he violates uh, the Ten Commandments, he's committing a sin uh, that is yeah. not forgiven uh, on this earth and on the other side when, he, when people die. So when he defies God and um, rejects our Lord Jesus Christ, he's telling God, I don't care what you think and I don't care about your laws or your Ten Commandments. I'm my own God. And that brings uh, biblical courses on him and uh, on his family for four generations more. So that he has biblical curses for five generations. Yeah. And that's why we pray for him because he's going to end up in a place where he's not going to be able to get out for eternity. Yeah. And for him to uh, do that, home invade my mother's apartment three times and try to assassinate her and assassinate me because we refuse to join the organized crime and refuse to deny Christ, that's not right. And uh, when they um, belgarize the whole house, uh, the whole apartment, they also broke a lot of things. So I don't know if the modem, the modem that um, I had is broken because they, get, they got very mad. They got very upset because we refused to join the organized crime and deny Christ. That's why I'm calling to disconnect the services because I have not been using the services for the last month. And I'm not going to be using the services because uh, the U.S. Marshal that they used as a judge to um, kick us out, uh, and they call it a, a, an eviction. It's not an eviction when you burglarize somebody's home and kick them out right. and refuse to give them your uh, their car keys to keep warm inside their car when it is 20 degrees outside, especially if your victim is a 72 years old woman with epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, uh, osteoporosis, two cancer operations, two leaking heart valves and three stomach ulcers in a severely injured back. And especially when uh, the police officers, the US police officers involved in this home invasion, in the third home invasion that they uh, did against my elderly disabled mother and myself, especially when they uh, were mocking my elderly disabled mother and myself because we were in the cold uh, and uh, with no place to go. And this is actually sad, really sad, Ms. Omanj. Um, I just would like to confirm, you're not related with this uh, mafia person, right? That person hates me and hates my mother, and we haven't even been able to... Uh, he hasn't been able to uh, speak with us for two minutes. He just called uh, and insulted us and said that he wanted to kill us. 
he doesn't even know us. He, he didn't even take time to speak with us for two minutes and he hates us. He also has um, mafia members, other mafia members working as police officers that hate us that we do, do not know. So how can you hate somebody if you haven't even taken two minutes to speak to that person? Maybe right. that person is, is a good person, but just because they're exactly. Christians, they hate uh, uh, us. Uh, they hate people because they're Christians, and that's not right. Exactly. And I believe, Ms. Lange, these people hate themselves, not you specifically. That reflects how they actually, you know, living, and that reflects their life. If they're hating someone without any reason, that means they hate themselves. They hate their life. The fact that they're actually, you know, doing not fairly to this world reflects how they living their life. Well, how I'm they're treating people reflects themselves. I tell you, they must not like themselves very much because... For them to disrespect themselves uh, by hitting the Ten Commandments of God that my mother had on her door about 60 times with a hatchet uh, on February, on um, November 24, 2021. Uh, and we called uh, 911 as legally advised by a group of attorneys that specialized in organized crime, modus operandi. Uh, for them to hit the Ten Commandments uh, that were next to the uh, the image or our Mother Mary, the Mother of God, about uh, 60 times for about uh, two hours or an hour and a half, that tells you about the self-respect that they have. They have no self-respect because nobody who has self-respect is going to do that. Yeah. Yes, and, I and, agree with that, Mr. Land. And, and, and you know, I videotaped uh, everything that they have done and as legally advised, and I put it on YouTube and on Facebook, and they see themselves uh, being beast-like, um, uh, trying to kill an elderly disabled uh, 72 years old woman uh, and using their badges and their um, government jobs up as police officers and as um, U.S. Marshals to um, cover up their criminal activities. Um, and they don't, they don't, it doesn't face them. It doesn't do anything to them, seeing themselves committing crimes and trying to kill elderly disabled citizens. Uh, if you look at, if you look at my, uh, my uh, YouTube, which is Professor Solange Martinez, my YouTube channel, you will see them behaving like animals and beast-like and, um, uh, telling us uh, not to practice our religion and telling my mother that she cannot um, be a Christian and live in a United States government subsidized uh, building because they don't like that. They don't like God. They don't like anything that has to do with God. And they told us that, you know, they said that it offends them. The Ten Commandments offends them. If the Ten Commandments offends them, uh, then they must not be doing something right because the Ten Commandments uh, are just do not steal, do not lie, uh, love God as uh, as the most uh, lo loving thing in your life. And that is, that is not offensive. They must do something really bad that they feel offended by the Ten Commandments. Well... You know what, Mr. Lange, I know this is uh, something that we can be able to control. These people can be able to control themselves as well. You know, their mind, their soul, their body, something that we can control. And I believe they are, you know, what do you call this? Like, embodied by the bad spirit. It just... If you're actually someone who is mentally stable, spiritually stable, you will not go in to treat people like this. You will go in to have self-respect and respect to other people as well. 
And if you don't have that, you don't belong here. You don't have a place to this world. And my mother says that it is really sad that this is happening in the United States, that she thought that this would happen in Iran or in Afghanistan or in Cuba or Venezuela, but never in the United States. But this is happening in the United States. They're killing elderly disabled citizens because they see them, they see them as garbage. They see them as not able to be used anymore. So they kill them and they continue in those buildings, in those government subsidized buildings. And after they kill them, they continue getting their electronics pensions and electronics government benefits and selling their identities to illegals and undocumented uh, aliens in the United States, as well as other citizens that belong to their mafia so they can get two or three pensions into their packets. And it's, it's not right. My mother is saying that it is really sad that these uh, people, Christian haters, work as police officers and as U.S. Marshals, and they used um, uh, a, an illegal eviction to masquerade uh, their home invasion and the stealing of everything that she and I owe, owed, uh, owned in that apartment. And also, uh, it's really sad that they had to um, use somebody else's eviction um, Right. papers to uh, masquerade uh, their home invasion with an illegal eviction and then put in the court that my mother was evicted because she didn't pay the rent. Oh. When they know very well that uh, she didn't have to pay the rent and she was paying the extortion money that for they años, that they asked her for for five years. And, excuse right. me, and uh, well, what they did know, yeah. what they did was they used somebody else's eviction papers who lived in another building with another building manager and said that that building manager uh, was the manager of the building where she used to live. The manager of the building where she, she used to live uh, is Lori Caruso. And they said that the building manager was Giovanna, Gi Giovanna Tilo. And before that, it was um, Miss Missy. And after that, uh, it was Miss Batista. So they kept changing the stories because they were lying and they got mad right. because we reported them as legally advised uh, by a group of attorneys uh, to the social media and to every place that you can imagine and took uh, and filed federal cases in federal courts. So that's very well documented. So that's why they tried to execute the three hits on my elderly disabled mother and myself, now they gave the apart her apartment with her Section 8 to Samuel, uh, the partner of the service coordinator, Willie Kiles. And uh, Samuel is living there with my mother's Section 8 uh, benefits and um, her name and um, the benefits that she worked 
for and paid into all her life, dozens of years of her life, uh, while she was paying her taxes and working very hard. And my mother is saying that she used to be 50 years old and she had two full times to enjoy the benefits when her benefits when uh, she uh, was in her old age. Now she's old and she cannot enjoy her benefits because mafia members want her benefits and that's not right. Y que ahora yo estoy en la calle porque a ellos no les gusto yo por mi religión. I would agree with that, Solange. And wow, these people are just too much. And now they don't, they don't, uh, they don't um, like you uh, in the United States because uh, you love God and they want you to deny God and to um, join their mafia. But if you don't want to join a mafia, let them go and enjoy themselves. So why do they want to force people to join the mafia? I know. They shouldn't be forcing people to join their, you know, their, their mafia. You don't follow their beliefs, right? Yes, you don't and my mother, my mother is, is saying that uh, they also, uh, they uh, belgarized the apartment and they also um, perhaps uh, took the, todo, casi lo mejor. stole the modem and everything. And this is happening in the United States, not in Cuba, not in Venezuela, not in Afghanistan, not in Iran, not in, in, in Russia, in the United States. So I don't understand how the United States can go and say, oh, we are human rights and you're violating human rights in other countries when the human rights are being violated here, right here. And the Human Rights Commission has been very aware of this for the last four and a half years. Uh, and they have not done anything. In fact, uh, a human rights um, security guard was involved in the stalking and following of my elder disabled mother after she won the court case against the DSS commissioner. Dile que ahí hay envuelto mucho dinero y mucho egoísmo personal. Yeah, they have, they, there is a lot of money involved uh, and uh, there is a lot of envy and a lot of um, selfishness. Uh, among y, these people. Y de religión también, principalmente. And, and they, they, have, they have a lot of hate with them, within themselves. Yes. It reflects how they actually are living their life here on earth, uh, Miss Lange. It does not reflect who you are, okay? I, bl I believe you me dicen que no me lo van a dar porque a mí me, me, me dieron. You are que no me lo van a actually... Because you know, nice good people. It's just that these people don't have anything um, doing good on this earth. They just wanted to, you know, spread people, harm people, hate on, you know, with Christianity because they hate themselves. They can't be able to do anything that are right truth. And it's really and is sad uh, that they are also such liars because they, um, their uh, mafia members, their mafia associates entered uh, my mother's name in court with somebody else's profile and said that she was evicted because of non-payment of, of rent when it, when they know very well that it was not an eviction, yo tengo todos los that it was yes. uh, well, a home invasion. And so well, when my mother goes to apply, you know too well. when, when my mother uh -huh. goes to apply to another building, they say, we cannot rent you their friends. We cannot rent you because you were evicted for non-payment of rent. When they know very well that uh, they were contacted by these uh, mafia members and told uh, them not to uh, give a, a housing uh, to my mother because they have a Samuel's, Samuel and other people using her benefits here in Waterbury, Connecticut. So they cannot have two people with the same names, same social security numbers and same benefits getting the benefits. They only they can only have one. So that, that's why they have been uh, having people, strangers emailing us and telling us to move out of Waterbury so they can take uh, still our identities and government benefits here in Waterbury with no uh, worries. 
Uh, and that's why they have been having emails, uh, people emailing us, telling us to get out of Waterbury. Okay. Well, your life is actually um, at stake now, Ms. Solange. I want you to protect your mother and yourself as well and your family members mm -hmm. um, from these people because, you know, we never know what these people can, you know, can do or are capable of. However, mm -hmm. what I can do here, because I, I believe they cannot able to have access to your account because they're actually not the authorized user of this account. Okay. So I don't think they can have access to it, but we can um, disconnect your account right here. So that way, you know, your service right here will mm -hmm. be disconnected. Mm -hmm. And then you can just call us back whenever you, you have the place yo lo llamo, and me. you're actually on the safe place already. Thank you. Very much welcome, Miss Alange. But um, before I let you go, do you have any other requests for me? No, that's fine. No, dile que está bien y que yo le agradezco que me eche una que no eche bendición. Is that your mother? Porque la necesitamos. Yeah, she says to my mother says to please pray pray for us because we need the prayers. I know. I will pray for you guys because I'm also a Christian person. I believe in God, and I believe that He will go in to protect us whenever and wherever we are. So just pray as well. I uh, will pray for your well-being and for your protection as well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Very much welcome, Ms. Solange. God bless your family, okay? Please be safe always. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Goodbye. And this is the type of uh, uh, police officers that we have here in the United States. This Bless is, you. Uh, I'm sorry. This is what they do with the citizens of the United States when they're not being watched. They insult them and they uh, intimidate, harass them, and terrorize them, uh, especially the elderly disabled citizens. I'll kill you. Fuck you. Bless and this is not a way in which a police officer is supposed to talk to a civilian which he has never met uh, and he has only seen by videos and pictures when he's shown the pictures and videos of the people that he wants to execute. He's to execute the hit on. This is not right. Fuck you. I'll kill you. Fuck you. Bless you. Uh, I'm sorry uh, if I bothered you in anything. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Watch what you post about people on social media. I'm sorry. Watch the information that you put about somebody because you'll be fucking arrested. We're calling a fucking lawyer. You're done. And you know, he never called his lawyer because I'm sure that when he called his lawyer, the lawyer told him uh, she is within her right to record you when you call uh, her and harass her. And when you go break down mm -hmm. her mother's door, because that's the first um, uh, amendment right of the Constitution of the United States. And you are in violation of the Constitution of the United States, U.S. Code 18, Section 242. That's a felony. He should be arrested and he should be in jail, and he's not. Uh, so that shows you about the corruption of the uh, system and the persecution of Christians in the United States. And again, I ask you the same question. Was that part of the eviction also, the legal eviction? Uh, I'll leave it up to you. I think I have given you enough information to get to your own conclusions.